Welcome to the introduction of drums, the house of samba. Thank you for joining in with us today. Beginner drummers, we're gonna to start totally from the basic. Let's go over a samba, samba rhythm. How do we start off by playing the samba? If you hear the kick drum, just like the heartbeat. Now that's the most important part of samba music. That's actually called the surdu part in Brazilian music. And then I add a little hi-hat to it. Let's break it down even slower. So now I can also add a cowbell part to that, which is right down below my drum. it sounds like when I actually put the snare on and see how it actually changes the feel of the music. So I put the snare on, drum roll, I hope you don't forget that, that's a great warm up. Back to the samba. Let's break it down even slower. Also, you can play the hi-hat along with the kick drum. Let's go slow. Samba. Don't forget to put your practice in and make sure that you're always practicing slow. Samba. Don't forget to spread the word. House of Samba. Make sure you subscribe and hit like so we can do this more. Thank you for coming. James Henry.
then also we're going to really break it down and keep it really simple so you can play some really, really cool drum patterns. Here's another cool rhythm that you hear in Latin music. As you can tell, I'm using my kick as the root and the hi-hat. Sometimes I can add a little accent on that hi-hat. Now let's see if I add a snare to that with the Latin beat. grooves that's funky it almost can flip it over as also like a country second line Well, can you believe it? It goes back to our first lesson. Mama, daddy, mama, daddy. That's why you have to make sure that you do those exercises and those rudiments. after the mama pop-up, I'm doing a little roll at the end. See?
New Orleans. My fellow drummers, wow, welcome back to the next class here. We're going to be going over some of the basic tools that I've been giving you to order to be a wonderful listener. Playing drums is like playing a piano. You have to hear everything. I call it elephant ears. Well, let's start off with just a basic rudiments. think that's really simple. Oh, Teacher James, you're just going to have us to play rudiments like that? Well, they come in handy when you're playing the toms. That's why it's really important that you practice your rudiments and your scales on the drums. So you, it's called a turnaround. Well, let's start with Mama, Daddy, and doing the rolls on the drums. Say you don't have any toms, and you only have two toms, then just do it on two toms. Toms, just do it on your snare drum. Now I'll put it where it all you can use all of these exercises. For instance. my hi-hat Let 
me even break it down even more simply than that. And just hit the snare on four. One, two, three. One, two, three. And if you notice, I'm using the floor drum here too. To make it simple, every time you hit the snare, hit the kick drum. Here we go. As you can see, I'm putting that kick drum in a different place right now. Let's start it off. Kick, hi-hat, snare. Put it all together. Now, I'm, as you can see, I'm hitting it on three. See if I speed that up, what we have. That's another pattern that you can play. Once again, if you don't have any drums at home, use the pots and pans. Put a towel over it so you can get your nice warm pitches. Slow it down. Now let's see what it sounds like when I actually turn my snare on. That should give you something to work on tonight. See you at the next class.